for the show for today. We're talking to Dr. Stephen Wolf and uh, Miss Beverly Weatherspoon, and they're talking about uh, the uh, possibilities of individuals being diagnosed with cancer and some of their reactions, all under the topic cancer survivors and uh, survivorship. And of course, Dr. Uh, <coughs> Wolf, let's uh, pick up where we left off with you and to have you and uh, Ms. Weatherspoon during this last segment to uh, sort of give our audience a general view in reference to some of the things that you wanted to talk about uh, before you got here and sort of let, leave them with that kind of information. Let's start with you, Dr. So, Wolf. So, so I don't think that <clears throat> the average patient in the community understands that, that we have a very special facility at the National General Hospital. Mm -hmm. We're actually a nationally recognized center. We are actually um, given monies and grant funds by the National Cancer Institute mm -hmm. to conduct special studies. At that the makes General you Hospital. really special. Really we, are, we, are, we, are, mm -hmm. we are very special, mm -hmm. you're right. Mm -hmm. Not, and, and one of the few hospitals mm -hmm. that, that have that funding, mm -hmm. and I work at Meharry Medical College, mm -hmm. so we're the only historical black college mm -hmm. to have that special mm -hmm. funding. Mm -hmm. And that means that we can provide special care to our patients. Mm -hmm. so, so let me tell you what we have here. Mm -hmm. So we have a full-time navigator person. Mm -hmm. So navigator means that when you come to the hospital, it's a confusing and complex mm -hmm. situation. We have, we have a full-time nurse that, that takes a patient from start to finish and mm -hmm. guides them, not just where to go, but mm -hmm. how to deal with insurance, how mm -hmm. to deal with disability, mm -hmm. how to get medications, how to how to cut the cost, mm -hmm. how to deal with all the issues. Mm -hmm. um, we have a full-time nursing staff. Mm -hmm. We have a beautiful facility to take mm -hmm. care of the patients. Um, and we're also recognized as a clinical trials mm -hmm. center. Mm -hmm. That means that we have available mm -hmm. at our site special therapy mm -hmm. and special drugs that are just coming up from the pharmaceutical companies mm -hmm. that are not available in most mm -hmm. other practices. And, and many of these drugs are free. Free. Well, some are free. <laughs> yeah, but, but I, many are uh, free. But they're so new mm -hmm. and they're so exciting mm -hmm. that our patients can have availability of therapies mm -hmm. not available mm -hmm. to not available to the average cancer patient. I think that's what I meant when I thought about being free, which is to say that uh, they can there come there and, and receive some things that they probably couldn't receive anywhere else on one of those kind of trials. Is that what we're saying? Yes, and actually mm -hmm. we've learned to accommodate mm -hmm. the issues of healthcare um, mm -hmm. finance. And mm -hmm. so we will treat our patients mm -hmm. with the absolute best therapy mm -hmm. um, despite their situations. We work out ways mm -hmm. to help the patients pay for cost. Mm -hmm. We find ways to cover their cost. And we also help patients deal with the insurance issues. Yeah, as, as a matter of fact, uh, speaking of insurance and health and et cetera, uh, let's raise this question. Uh, how has the uh, present uh, health reform impacted upon what you're doing at Meharry? Well, it's an important step, mm -hmm. and I think the next important step is going to be when we get universal care. Mm -hmm. I think that, that we should make everybody have health care, mm -hmm. and we should make patients get preventive care and screening care. Mm -hmm. That would be my goal. If we can make everybody get a mammogram mm -hmm. and everybody get a colonoscopy, mm -hmm. we would reduce the incidence of cancer so much, and mm -hmm. we would diagnose it so early that the cure rate would absolutely be high. Mm -hmm. You know that only one in five patients in Tennessee, mm -hmm. one in five adults, mm -hmm. undergoes colon cancer screening. And colon cancer screening has been shown that you can find a cancer so early mm -hmm. that the therapy takes five minutes. Mm -hmm. and if you let that cancer grow over years, mm -hmm. it becomes very difficult mm -hmm. to treat. So screening is very important. And, and so, but, but there's a lot of opposition, <coughs> excuse me, in the state of Tennessee to uh, any kind of intrusion on the part of anybody that would make them do anything. Do you find that to be true in reference to what you're doing at this center? Well, well, not necessarily at the not, center, yeah, but I not, mean, not uh, at our hospital. Our, no, well, our not, patient population. Uh -huh. I know that there's a need there for uh -huh. something to change mm -hmm. with with our healthcare system. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, I don't know what else. So, but 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 that is very very important. And it of course, is. I think Dr. What Dr. Wolf is saying here is also important in this to the to the extent that if people could simply come out and be screened and get away from this attitude that nobody has any right to uh, tell them what to do in reference to health and independence in reference to what their own health you think that